Right, so here we are in the main screen of Luminar 4. And today I'm going to be doing a black and white conversion of this photo of the needle, which I was taken on the eye of the sky. So first thing I'm going to do is go into the canvas tab and go into lens and geometry. And I'm just going to click all these for lens correction. Now in this photo, you can see I've got a tripod leg and down here you can see me make Gary on the ledge down there now I want to get rid of these so I'm going to go into the erase tab and this is like the content aware fill on Photoshop and the spot removal tool in Lightroom works exactly the same way and what I'm going to do is just paint over the tripod leg with the brush then I'm going to zoom in to Gary, who's on the ledge. And I'm going to paint over him. Just nice and quick like this. Like that. Also, I noticed in the sky, I've got some dust spots. So I'm going to quickly just pop the brush over each one of them and get rid of the dust spots in the sky. I think that's all of them. I think I'm getting them all. Yeah, that looks fine. Uh, now I'll click erase. Now first of all, I'll zoom out anyway so you can see the overall effect. Now everything that I've painted red is going to be erased. So click erase. And it takes a few seconds just to erase them. And we'll see what kind of result we get. Right, that's done that and as you can see it's done an absolutely brilliant job I mean you would never believe there was a tripod leg there Gary's totally gone and the dust spots are all gone so I'm more than happy with that that's brilliant click done and we'll go back into the main screen again and then we can start editing okay so first things first we're gonna go into the essentials tab now I'm going to edit this exactly how I would edit in Lightroom. Do exactly the same things and just to see how it works out and if I'm happy with the result or not. So what I would do, I'm going to go into the light tab and I'm going to pull the highlights down. So that pulls the sky in. Yeah, that looks fine. That looks fine. Now I'm going to go into the black and white conversion tab and convert the black and white. Now that's done a pretty decent job of converting to black and white, but for me, for my kind of style, it's not contrasty enough and it's not dark enough. I prefer darker image. I mean, it's personal preference, but I, I just prefer darker image with a, bit, a little bit more contrast. So I want to bring up the highlights a little bit in the mountains and on the cliff faces. So what I'm going to do is the yellows, which is where the sun was hidden. I'm going to use the yellow slider tab with luminance. And I'm just going to slide it up and as you can see in the background there around Clay here and around these highlights you can see them brightening and darkening so I want to brighten them up a touch so I think around about 60 looks all right yeah I'm gonna do the same with the reds because that'll bring up the the orange bits in the background and the greens but the greens don't look like they are uh, doing much so that's okay now the blues I'm hoping the blue is going to just pull the sky dark on the sky down a little touch in places oh yeah that's pulling the sky in a little bit so we'll pull that down a touch so it gives a little bit more drama in the sky that looks nice right. yeah that's what we've got now so I'll come back out and now I'm going to go down to detail enhancer now what I want to do here is I'm only going to use the small details um, because what I want to do is bring out some of the detail in cleat. Now once I slide this slide you'll be able to see that the ridge line on cleat gets a little bit sharper and a little bit more definition. So if I turn it down it blurs, if I turn it up 
you get that little bit more definition so I don't want to go mad on that I just want to turn it up a little bit that looks nice that'll do me so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a vignette on now the vignette is pretty much the same as the one in Lightroom except with this one you can choose subject so you can click on the screen where you want the aperture the highlight of the aperture to be I'll show you how that works in a moment but what I'm going to do with this look a little bit mad when I do this but this is how I'm going to do it I'm going to turn the amount down minus 100 and then turn the size down to zero so that I've got this nice small aperture here in the center of the screen now advanced settings I don't want a, an oblong vignette I want a, a round vignette so I'm going to change the roundness if I turn it down it goes square change into oblong and then goes into round so 100% on that and I've got a nice round vignette now the feather slider if I turn that right down you'll see that the edges go really hard on the on the aperture and it looks like you're looking through a telescope which is not what I want for this shot so I'm going to feather it 100% so the edges around the aperture go nice and smooth now what I'm going to do is this is the choose subject I was telling you about if you click choose subject now wherever, wherever I click on the screen that is where the light is going to fall so with this shot the Sun was coming in from the left of the screen so I'm going to put the aperture on the left hand side and I'm going to find a nice place where it's highlighting the needle lovely yeah that looks nice that looks alright there and now I'm going to add some inner light so this all this light bit here should lighten up it will kick a little bit more light in I'm going to just turn that up a touch like that that looks nice and now I'm going to change the size of the vignette now so I can change the size of this I'm going to make it bigger just so you can start to see some of the cliff face on the right hand side there just down here and now I'm going to change the amount of the vignette so it's not as dark so that'll bring out some of the shadows and what I'm trying to achieve here is I'm trying to keep the, the sky dramatic and dark but I don't want it too dark so that all these all the detail in these shadows is lost now I can just see the detail there of the path going down and stuff so that looks pretty good but the sky isn't dark enough for me so I'm going to choose subject again and I'm going to try moving the vignette around a little bit yeah that looks a bit better yeah I like that change the amount again because I'm not going a little bit darker that's it yeah that looks nice try the size again because right yeah that's fine I'm happy with that that looks better yeah that, and that is pretty much it that's that's what I would do in Lightroom for that photo so that would be finished in Lightroom but what I'm going to do with Luminar 4 I'm going to go into the AI Enhance tab and I'm going to use the AI Enhance to see what that does to the shot to see if it changes anything oh yeah you can see it's kicking more light in there that looks really nice so I'm going to use this AI Accent to bring a little bit more light in and a little bit more contrast not too much so that looks nice there that's nice now the Sky Enhancer let's have a look see what that does ah right there we go that's bringing, that's pulling the sky in darker so it's adding a little bit more drama to the shot yeah you can see it's darkening and lightening so I'm going to pull that down a little bit that looks nice there yeah looks really nice right so that looks like I'm pretty much finished and I'm uh, really happy with that shot so if you've enjoyed this video and um, you want to see more just stay tuned and um, I'll be doing more videos more photos and going into a few more of the different options of Luminar 4